Twitter. Thank you for joining me for That's the Way It Is. I'm your host, BC. Uh, today, we're going to talk about something I found out about last year, I think, or the year before that, and I think it's like one of the craziest things I've heard. And, you know, it's one of the craziest things I've heard of people um, trying, you know, doing to promote a product, and it is called the Krispy Kreme Run. That's right, you heard me. The Krispy Kreme Run starts the uh, first weekend of every February, so basically it is uh, this weekend. Now, what this run consists of, you're going to run from the Bell Tower, and that's going to be in Durham, North Carolina. You're going to run to the Krispy Kreme Donut Shop. There, you're going to wolf down. That's right, I'm saying wolf down because that's what a lot of these people are doing. A dozen donuts. Now, the donuts consists of 2,400 calories. That's right, 2,400 calories. Now, the average calorie for a man is like 1,500 calories a day, and for a woman, it's like 1,200 calories. So, that's a lot of calories for one set. That means you can eat nothing. You can eat nothing uh, that day or breakfast the next day, really. <laughs> anyway, and that's going to be like 144 uh, fat calories, in case you're wondering. And then you're going to run from the Krispy Kreme Donut Shop back to the finish line. And they want you to do this within an hour. Now, the, now the first person who won this race is Ben Gaddy, who done it in a, uh, in, I think it was 30, 34 minutes, 27 seconds. All right, so that following year, you know, it, it was like a one-time thing, but it got popularity, so the following year, they just got ready for the next year. So they didn't have, and this was in 2006, so in 2007, they didn't have it. Okay, now the fastest time for this race has been a record of 27 minutes and 31 seconds set by um, Auburn Staples. Samples. I think it's I think it's a uh, staple though. Anyway, so and the first time, like I said, someone told me about this, and it's a gentleman that you know I work with, and uh, he does this race every year. Now what they do now they if you if you uh, cross the finish line within an hour but you didn't win, you get this little thing, a uh, little card that uh, says you can get free donuts, a box of donuts, for a year, every day. That's right, you get a free box of donuts every day for a year. Now, if you win that race, you get a free box of donuts every day for life. That's right, for life. Isn't that crazy? Okay, now, what they do, now, they, they expect you to pay to do this, and people are doing it. And this year alone, but today, they made $184,000, which means they got 8,000 people running this race today. That's crazy. Now, in nine years, they've made uh, $558,000. Now, all this money goes to, chair, it goes to the North Carolina Children's Hospital, which I guess, I guess you can say that's pretty good. But, I, but the, to pay to do this to your body is just beyond me. And it, it's just ridiculous. Now, out of all these people that has ran this race, now, granted, the race is being run today, don't have the numbers of figures on that, but out of all these thousands of people that done, now, I think in 2007, it was like 1,500 people running this race. Now, the grand total of actually crossing the finish line within the hour is 450 people. That right there tells you how grueling and how the damage that this here can actually do to, do to you. You know, because if you was, if it wasn't that bad, a lot more people would have won it. They probably wouldn't even have this race. Now, anyway, and I think it's just crazy and it's really unheard of to actually do this to yourself. But you know, as you as you look, people do a lot of damage to themselves. So as you can tell, I probably am not a big fan of this race. Now I would love to run the race, but you know, you can keep your donuts. I, I don't eat your donuts. I, you know, I, I really care about what, you know, I put into my body because I'm a firm believer in what I put in my body is what's fueling my body and you know so 
some of the ingredients that they put in products now I really am not a big fan of and really stay away from. So if you want to call me a picky eater, that's fine because I am. But anyway, with all of that aside, I think that um, I think that this is a little crazy. The guy I noticed does this. He is a little crazy. Now he he don't win every year. His goal is to win. That's all he wants to do. He he don't even he didn't even mention about the fastest time. All he told me he wants to do is win, so he ain't got to do it no more. He can just eat his donuts. You know, he's like it's free. I'm gonna tell you what. That's not free. The damage that it does to your body it is not free. It's far from free. Then you know, and I just hate to be the bearer of bad news. Anyway, I would like to uh, thank you for joining me. You have a wonderful day.